Okay, so we can actually get started because I know Johanna is on a vacation, so she might not be able to join us. And um, and I think uh, Tim is supplementing Robin in this call. So I think we have pretty much everyone. All right, so good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as you guys know, this is our monthly call with the community to discuss the topics related to the growing and to the growing and sustaining of the Sikh community. And this call will be recorded and made available on YouTube so that um, people from our community can uh, visit it later. So starting with that, I think I can just go ahead and um, ask Tim if he would like to share any Zeke technical updates, updates on that side. Um, no, I mean, there's not a lot going on right now. We're... Tim, do you have any updates? Uh, yes, hi, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can can't hear, you. hear you. Can oh wait, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, never mind. Okay, um, we're steadily working on five point one. Um, five point zero came out. Uh, we don't have a five point one planned just yet. Um, there's, I know, one thing in the list already, and we're tracking something down with the testing group on something else. Um, five point one is looking to just be a bug fix release. Um, we're trying to close as many open issues as we can. Um, I've closed something like 10 already since 5.0 came out, I think. Um, and as quickly as I, it seems like as quickly as I close them, more ones are open. So it's looking good. Uh, other than that, not much is going on. There's some Zeke Agent version 2 stuff happening kind of in the background that's not quite ready for release yet. Um, that's really about it. All right, thanks Tim for the update. Are there any questions for Tim regarding the updates he shared about 5.0? All right, if nothing for Tim, then I can go ahead and share the updates on the training side. So um, we are still working on getting the Docker image ready for our training. So this year the training will be in person and uh, it will be like a one-day event and we will be running the trainings parallel this time. So Ashish's training uh, on the advanced scripting side will run parallel to the introduction so people can just attend one or the other at the same time. So uh, we are still uh, working on getting the Docker image ready and then we have the curriculum revamped this year. So we are really excited to see how that goes because this time we have um, pretty much everything new uh, that we haven't presented before. So we'll be talking about production cluster, how you spin one, and different kind of architectures that you deploy in production. So we are re really looking uh, forward to it. And then we are working out on the um, curriculum and exercises regarding the same. Um, similar with Ashish, he's working uh, on the advanced um, Zeek scripting side, and then he will have more updates, hopefully by uh, the closer we get to our um, Zeek week. Um, other than that, I don't have much updates on the training side. So if there are any questions, um, I would be more than happy to answer um, on Zeek training. Cool, if there are no questions for me, then um, Richard, are there any updates on the documentation side that you would like to share? Sure, hello everyone. A um, Couple different things. Uh, first, I took a shot at redoing the Zeke page on Wikipedia, and uh, if you go there, you'll see that it is pretty different than what was there before. Um, I was able to figure out how to do things like update the stable release. Um, I did some work with Vern to get the earliest tarball that he had of Zeke, which was a, a 0 0.3 alpha dating from January of 1998, and uh, thanks to Tim, he was able to upload it to uh, downloads.zeke.org. And we also found it on an anonymous FTP server at uh, one of the labs. And so I was able to put that in there as the initial release. And that was inspired by Justin. He asked if we could add that. So it's kind of cool to see that, you know, it's listing the project is 24 years old. Um, incidentally, the oldest piece of code in that release dated from uh, late 1996. So that's kind of some fun uh, digital archaeology. So if you do take a look at the Zeke Wikipedia page, um, I've been butting heads with um, some of the, the Wikipedia editors who thought I was copying too much from our own documentation. Um, so if there's anything that you want to add that you can source to uh, other parties who have written about it, 
in other words, it's tough for us to cite our own stuff. We're supposed to cite other people who have written about us. Um, feel free to you know take a shot at, at editing the page. The, the more we can say about what we do and what the logs look like and all that on Wikipedia, the easier it is for new people who might be able to, to find us. Um, also, I'd recommend taking a look at the the new discourse that we're using that uh, Johanna set up in, I guess, in late May. Um, there's been some good posts there. There's still a lot of discussion on the Slack channel, but um, discourse has a lot of things like announcements. So announcements about Zeek Week, or I post the newsletter there. So there's a lot of um, documentation that comes out on uh, discourse. And then finally, I mentioned Slack. There's been a lot of people recently been asking questions on Slack, and they tend not to give a lot of details, which makes it hard to troubleshoot. I mean, sometimes they ask questions that you can interact with based on what they say, but other times they want to understand what, why Zeke is doing what they think it's doing or not doing. And so most often the easiest way for us to help you is to uh, get a PCAP. So if you can provide us a PCAP, we can run it through our own instances of Zeek. We can look at the traffic itself and try to figure out what might be happening. We can run it through uh, Justin's try.zeek.org site, and you can see for yourself what the, what the results would be. So the easiest way for us to help you is if you can provide a PCAP of whatever it is you're trying to troubleshoot, and that will help us to uh, try to answer your questions. And that is all. Thanks. That's great insights on the documentation side, Richard. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, so I also wanted to point out that we do have a documentation Slack channel. So if you guys have any request for updation of any updating any documentation, are you seeing any issues or if there are some kind of um, suggestions that you would want to add? Because I, I think recently we had some suggestions on um, how to get started with Zeek and some of the uh, issues that we were running into. And then there were good suggestions on if we can update the documentation around the same. So if you guys have any of the documentation requests or if there is anything missing in the documentation, please do let us know on the documentation Slack, specifically that Slack is meant for people who maintain and update documentation. So that would be really great if you post it on the documentation Slack channel. If you are not part of the Zeek, um, Zeek Slack, the, the information on how to join it is also available on Zeek.org website. So how to connect with the community and everything, all the links are available there. So um, again, yeah, if you are not part of it, uh, we would be more than happy to uh, have you on Zeek Slack. And again, if you have questions regarding anything, like if you are a developer, there is a development Slack channel as well, where people uh, post questions regarding um, coding or developing uh, some functionality in Zeek and, um, and whatnot. There are a whole bunch of channels that you can explore as well. So um, that's pretty much it. And um, if you guys have questions, do let us know. Again, as Richard mentioned, that we have this course now. So that, that's really cool place to uh, ask questions as well. And um, yeah, and the quickest way to get an answer is again, post it on Slack and then somebody, somebody from the team will, um, somebody from the team and community will be able to answer the question as well. And with that, I think we are pretty much done with the update. So that is kind of like a pretty brief community call this morning. Can I add a couple of things, Fatima? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. So um, just some reminders about uh, Zeek Week. So Zeek Week, we're in the call for papers um, time right now. And the current deadline for submissions is August 17th. And notifications would be sent by September 1st. So if you have any ideas for something you'd like to talk about at Zeek Week, please uh, uh, respond to the CFP. And you can find details about that, I think, on the blog. Um, also, there's a link in the discourse. So again, just community.zeek.org. That will have information for you there. Um, obviously, uh, mentioning Zeek Week, registration is open. We're in the general pricing um, section right now. So uh, again, there's information, I think, uh, on the website. And there's probably, well, there's also links in the discourse. So you can find that. And then finally, um, the nomination process for the next uh, seats on the Zeek leadership team. That nomination process will start in five days on August 8th, and then it will close on August 19th. And there's a whole timeline and steps to discuss all about that. Um, that process will finally finish, I believe, in October. So if you're interested in running for uh, a seat on the leadership team, there's a few seats that will be open. And we have like a, a rotating system where uh, some people stay 
um, some people leave, and then there's a few seats like for Vern and um, community leader and such like that that are uh, sort of permanent seats. So uh, again, you can take a look at the discourse and there's uh, links there if anyone is interested in joining the leadership team. Mm, that sounds great. Uh, thank you for all the other uh, announcements, Richard. Um, uh, and then, yeah, and if there is nothing else, uh, if people, people would like to share on this call, then we can adjourn for today. Uh, thank you all for, for being here and then sharing the updates. All righty. Take care, everyone. Catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye.